All right, so this is equivalent expressions using algebra tiles. So this is what we went over, uh, I believe, on Wednesday in pre-AP. So if you weren't there or you just weren't super comfortable with it, then uh, hopefully this will help fill in those gaps for you. And so our objectives, first off, we're going to introduce you to algebra tiles, talk about what they are, what they look like, how they work, and then also zero pairs and combining terms. So two color counters, we use those back at the beginning of the year in our integers unit when we combined integers. And if you recall, the yellow circle was a plus one, so that's one unit, one positive unit. And then the red was negative one, or one red unit. And so they were two color counters, and so it was yellow on one side, red on the other. And so algebra tiles are the exact same way, they're square, but yellow on one side, red on the other. And so positive one in algebra tiles would be the yellow side facing up. And a negative one would be a red square with the red side facing up. And so they're two color, um, two sided, same as the two color counters, they're just different in shape because they are square. The way we would represent a positive five would be very similar to the way we would do it on a two color counter. So just one, two, three, four, five yellow squares. A negative three we would represent as three negatives. And so then if we wanted to make a negative two, and so at this point this is where the class would, with their algebra tiles, put on their desk two negatives. And then for three positives, the class would put that on their desk with their algebra tiles as well. Variable, x. And so um, along with the algebra tiles, so in the bag of tiles, there's the little squares that are red and yellow. And then there are some rods or some rectangles that are green on one side and red on the other. So very similar, they're two color, two sided, but red on one side, green on the other. And so green is positive, just like the yellow is positive. So a positive um, X or unknown. And so when we try to match them up, and the students would do that here in class, and they found that it's almost five, but not quite five. And on my magnets that I have, the magnet algebra tiles, it's almost four, but not exactly four. And the reason is very purposeful. Um, so the X, it's unknown. I don't know the length of it. It's not five, it's not four. In fact, it's unknown. And so we represent that with the variable X. So X is the green rectangle. And if I flip the green rectangle over, I would get the negative X or opposite X. And so it's very important if we think about it, instead of negative X, we think about it as opposite X. So if X equaled to negative five, for example, then opposite X or opposite negative five would be five. And so um, you'll very rarely hear, hear me call that negative X. You usually hear me call it opposite X. And so just like uh, opposite positive numbers on the uh, two color counters and on the single algebra tiles are yellow or red rather for the opposites, opposite X is red as well. Representing four X, well that's four groups of X or four times X or four X's. And so I would just represent four X as one, two, three, four X's. Negative 3x or opposite of 3x. So I could put 3x's and I could flip them over, or I could just put the three red side up x's. And so that's opposite 3x or negative 3x if you want to look at it that way. And then combining. So I have 2x and I have 3. And I can't combine them because they're different. They're different things, different units, different items, and so I can't combine them. So 2x plus 3 is already simplified. I can't do anything else to it. That expression is simplified because the 2x cannot be combined uh, with the 3. Opposite x plus 3. So I'll have my red x, positive 3, and I can't combine that. I can't do anything uh, further to simplify that. So here we would try that, so 3x plus 2 would be 3 greens, 3 of the green x's or 3 rectangles, 
plus two yellow units, then opposite X would be a red X plus four yellows, then two X, that's gonna be two greens and four yellows, opposite three X, so three red X's and negative three, two X, it's two greens and a negative five, and opposite two X, so two red X's and a positive one or a yellow one. And if that's a little confusing, if you wanna borrow a set of algebra tiles, let me know and you can go back through this video doing it that way or we can do it in tutorials that works as well. Zero pairs, so just like we had zero pairs in the two color counters, we also have zero pairs with algebra tiles, one negative, one positive, that's going to equal zero and those will go away. Same with zero pairs with the units, also zero pairs work with the X. So if I have a negative X or opposite X and I have a positive X, then those create a zero pair and those go away. So if X was five, negative five and positive five creates zero. And so I can have zero pairs with X as well. And so to combine this, so if I had this expression, opposite X plus two X plus four plus negative three, I'm just going to place my pieces down on the table, so opposite x, and then 2x, and then 4, and then a negative 3. And then I look, can I make any zero pairs? So I want to simplify this, and yes, I can. I have a zero pair of x's that I can get rid of, and then I have three zero pairs of 1's to get rid of. And I'm left with x plus 1, and so that's my answer, x plus 1. If I wanted to combine this one, opposite x plus 2x plus negative 3 plus 1, there's my opposite x, 2x, negative 3, and then plus 1. And then I look, can I create any zero pairs? And I have a zero pair of x's, one zero pair of units, and I'm left with x and negative 2 or x minus 2. So there's x plus negative 2, or I could write x minus 2. Here's another one, so that's 3x opposite 2x, 4x, and negative 2. So 3x, it's gonna be, right, three greens. Negative 2x, it's going to be two red x's. And then a positive four, and negative two. And I just looked to see, can I make any zero pairs with my x's? There's one zero pair, two zero pairs, and then with my units or my ones, and I'm left with X plus two. And so there's my answer. Hopefully that helped. Um, I know it was kind of quick and you don't have the manipulatives there in your hand unless you borrowed it and rewatching this. Um, but hopefully it helped in case you missed this on Wednesday.